If there's one item that separates your usual setup of a phone, wallet, and keys from a bona fide everyday carry, it's the venerable folding knife. It's become a symbol of preparedness, widely regarded as a staple of EDC gear. In this video, we are going to share five of the best folding knives available on the market. Number 5. Spider Co. Para 3 Spider Co. is thought of as an ergonomics-oriented company, but they also always emphasize cutting performance. The Para 3 embodies a lot of Spider Co. philosophies, but perhaps this one most of all. The blade stock is thicker than even the Sabre Ground Delica, and yet the flat grind is such that the Para 3 remains a top-tier slicer. It's tough and aggressive when it needs to be, but graceful and delicate when the situation calls for it. The satin finish is perfectly done to reduce friction as well, definitely a better finish than Taichon. The Para 3's handle is very similar, but not identical to the Pen 2's. In addition to the obvious reductions in length, it has a more curved spine than its bigger brother. The edges of the G10 have also been hit with a mild chamfer. Material choices are the expected but excellent nevertheless G10 with nested stainless steel liners. At just 2.4 oz weight in total, the Spider Co. Pair 3 like we truly lives up to its name. And with a premium bead-down and stainless steel blade featuring a full flat grind in Spider Co.'s trademark leaf-shaped design, it's ready to take on any EDC task you bring to the table. Number 4. CRKT Provoke Kinematic The Provoke is a bit of a tank. It features a 2.41-inch blade consisting of semi-stainless D2, a hard, high-quality knife and tool steel known for holding an edge well but also as a challenge to sharpen. The D2 blade features a black titanium nitride finish, and the mechanical handle is made with 6061.6 aluminum with a black anodized finish. This carambit weighs a fairly hefty 6.1 ounces, but the entire blade is lighter than it looks. You'll immediately notice how the unique handle and sleek black profile appear to stand out. The unique climatic deploy means you can spit the blade out in a flash using only your thumb. With rapid blade deployment, Opening the knife is really simple and fast. It's a smooth single-handed process. It's not risky nor it is poorly crafter. Offering exceptional control with four-finger grip, this carambit is really comfortable to use as EDC. Number 3. Kersha Brawler Folding Pocket Knife The hollow ground American Tanto blade is made of 8 CR13 Movi steel. This is a quality budget steel and used widely across the knife industry on Chinese made knives. Kershaw's implementation here is very typical of the material having decent edge retention and corrosion resistance and easy sharpening. Bolstering the corrosion resistance is the black oxide coating. This finish is more durable than paint. If you happen to be the sort who appreciates the appearance of good honest use and wear on your tools, the brawler will more than happily show the world that this knife is anything but a safe queen. When the blade needed sharpening, it took quite a bit of time on my diamond stones to get to an even, workable bevel. Deployment on the brawler is snappy due to Kershaw's speed safe assisted opening. The lockup is reasonably solid, with little to no play. The liners and liner lock are a good compromise between weight and strength. There is no traditional stop pin in this knife, it instead solely relies on the blade stopped contact with the handle scales to keep the blade locked in place. The Kershaw brawler is, as its name suggests, a tough little knife ready to take on most any task you might throw its way. Number 2. Spider Co. Tenacious Folding Pocket Knife The leaf-shaped blade of the Tenacious is made of HCR13 MOV stainless steel. HCR13 MOV is a more inexpensive steel that is comparable with O8. However, Spider Co. does an excellent job with the heat treat on this steel and my experiences have found that HCR13 MOV sharpens well and holds a good edge. The handle is layers of steel with G10 scales. The steel has been milled out to reduce the weight. The ergonomics on the Tenacious are quite good. It has a pretty big handle and it has been well designed. It's a signature Spider Co. hourglass shaped clip that provides good pocket retention without shredding your pants up. Also, the clip is mountable on all four corners of the knife, so you can carry this knife in your left or right pocket, tip up or tip down. The deployment on this knife is very nice. The thumb hole makes it easy to access the blade with bare hands or gloves, in rain or shine. The action is smooth thanks in part to phosphor bronze bushings. The Tenacious rounds out Spider Co.'s product line nicely and is an affordable knife that has all of the design elements and features Spider Co. is known for. 
I like the tenacious and recommend it for someone seeking an affordable larger EDC knife or a hardy utility knife that can be used hard guilt-free. Number 1. CRKT Homefront EDC Folding Pocket Knife It's made with the brand's patented field strip construction, an industry-first technology that allows the knife to be completely dismantled and reassembled without any tools at all. Beyond offering easy, on-the-go cleaning, this means that the homefront is super intuitive for performing routine maintenance. And that's not all. While it may look like an old-school WW2 knife, the homefront was actually designed by Ken Onion. Along with offering a clean tactical aesthetic, the homefront also boasts a selection of top-notch materials. Spanning some 8.25 long wood open, it features a 3.5 brushed AUSA blade and a 4.73-6061 aluminum handle. The weight of this knife is a bit heavier than others. Coming at 4.8 Oz, the weight is balanced quite nicely. It won't feel like front or toe heavy. This is something that is needed in an EDC knife. You won't over or under stroke with the knife. For the money, this is a really good deal. If you are interested in knowing more about any of the mentioned knives or want to know where to purchase them from, make sure to check the description box. You will find links for them down there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.